Now the question is, okay, well, so we have to create this structured activities, but how do we achieve learner-learner interaction and design such activities to bring in the learners in the forum? That's where the LXI component of the LCM model comes in. So you have the focus question that will drive the discussion in the discussion forum and then you have the reflection quiz. The purpose of the reflection quiz is to make the learners reflect and synthesize the learning that has happened through the discussion that they have just now participated in the discussion forum. So, so far what have we discussed? We have discussed why learner-learner interaction is important in a MOOC. We have seen what research says about it and we now know that Alexa is one of the possible solutions. Now, how to design the LXI activity? As a practitioner, what I have found is when you sit down to write the LXI question, there are actually three parts to the question which we should not forget at all. The first one is the focus question, of course, which drives the discussion in the discussion forum. The second part is guiding how to interact with the peers post. Now, see, focus question gives them a task to perform in the discussion forum that go to the discussion forum and respond to this question. But then if you don't give them clear instructions on how they are to engage in a discussion, then what we have found as MOOC instructors is discussion does not happen. So the B part, please do not miss out when you are designing the LXI activity question. And I'm going to soon show you an example so that what I'm now speaking becomes clear to you. But before I go to the example, let me go to the third part of the activity question. In the activity question, you need to give clear instructions to them that once you have participated in the discussion, please go and respond to the reflection quiz questions. Now let's see this example from a teacher training MOOC that we conducted. Now the highlighted portion is the focus question. So what is this focus question? The focus question is giving the learners in this teacher training MOOC a task to perform in the discussion forum. And the task is that you create a activity question using one of the learner centric instructional strategies that we discussed in the course, either peer instruction or think pair share. And you post this activity question in the forum. We had also given them a checklist to evaluate the quality of their own activity question. So we tell them you create the question, you do a self assessment and then post. So posting is done. The second part B that now comes is how are they going to engage with the peers in the forum? So here we have the second part of the activity question and we tell them that look at the other postings made by your course mates and do a peer evaluation based on the checklist we have given and see whether it's a good or a bad activity question that they have posted in the forum. And the third part is when you direct them that once you have done the peer evaluation, go and respond to the reflection quiz. Now the next question you might ask me is, okay fine, this is my LXI activity question that I have posed. What type of question do I pose in the reflection quiz? Let's see an example of this. Now the reflection quiz here is building up on their experience of doing peer evaluation with the checklist we had given them. The task was what? Remember they had to post a activity question and then do peer evaluation and the reflection quiz is asking them to now I have given you an activity question, you judge whether it's good or bad, harping on the experience that you have gained through the discussion forum activity or the LXI activity on evaluating the quality of the activity question. Is it learner centric enough or not? Is it good or bad? So that is the reflection quiz that follows the focus question task we had given. 
Now you can ask me that okay fine so you have told me how to create an LXI activity question these are the parts that you have shared with us from your experience but is it effective? Is LXI effective in bringing learners to the forum? So let me share with you some data that we analyzed from the teacher training MOOC which we conducted as instructors. Now here if you see the graph on screen the y axis gives you the number of unique learners participating in the discussion forum. In this particular course which was a MOOC on the pedagogy for effective use of ICT for school teachers we introduced LXI from week 3 that's why in the x axis you have data from starting from week 3. The blue line represents your LXI discussions and the red line represents the regular discussions that is discussions that were seeded by not by a focus question but some teacher would have come and posed their own question. Now we saw that with the progress of the course the number of learners participating in the forum has increased and we also found that 40.1% of the active learners in the course have actually participated in the discussion forum meaning that we were able to draw in 40% of the active learners that is learners who are watching the videos or doing activities 40% of them came into the discussion forum and actually responded in terms of posting a thread or commenting to a post. Now let's see some further data on the effectiveness of LXI. From the same course what we found is if you see the graphs on screen the graph represents the number of threads that were posted and the second graph represents the number of responses that were posted in response to the threads. And in both cases you again see that the blue line is showing a what increasing trend with the progress of the course. So the interpretation can be that learners are actually engaged because they are not only viewing the posts they actually came and they responded to the posts made in the forum. And when will they come back and post only when they feel that some learning or some benefit is happening to them. So this is an evidence of the effectiveness of LXI leading to peer learning in a MOOC. With this we come to the end of the part 1 of this video where I am sharing my experiences as a MOOC instructor for the LXI component.